Samantha Allen. On August 7, 2017, in Phoenix, Arizona, six years after the crime she committed, Samantha Allen was sentenced to death by lethal injection. She was convicted for the murder of her cousin, Amy Deal. The 10-year-old was systematically abused not only for Samantha, but also for four other family members. Samantha's mother, Cynthia Stoltzman, was convicted of abuse and sentenced to 24 years after a plea deal. Judith Deal, Samantha Allen's aunt, after pleading guilty of attempted child abuse, was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Amy Deal's father, David Martin Deal, had also been convicted of attempted child abuse, and in 2013 was sentenced to 14 years in prison. John Allen, Samantha's husband, was convicted of murder, and three months after his wife being convicted, was also sent to Arizona's death row. They are the first couple sentenced to death in Arizona. Little Amy Deal was born in Pennsylvania on July 24, 2000, and her short life ended in Phoenix, Arizona, on July 12, 2011. In those 10 years Amy Deal moved several times. Before Arizona, the family, that included several children, lived in Wisconsin, Utah, and Texas. The conditions of the houses were always bad. Protective services were called, and school officials reported many incidences of abuse and neglect about the family's kids, but nothing was done. The children were told to lie to police if questioned, and they did so, probably afraid. 11 Amy Deal was living in Phoenix with her grandmother Judith Deal, and with her 44-year-old aunt, Cynthia Stoltzman, who was her legal guardian. Samantha and Joan Allen, and 12 other children, also lived in the house. Amy's father, David Deal, lived in a tent in the back, with his two other children. It was a ticking time bombing situation for something bad to happen. What they did to Amy Deal, was barbaric. Between other things I can't even mention so graphic they were, those monsters usually put the little girl in a small footlocker, inside a trunk. Was precisely where she was found by police on July 12, 2011. The family told investigators she was playing hide and seek and locked herself in the trunk the night before. They said only the next day they noticed she was there, dead. She died suffocated. But Amy Deal was dirty and had bruises in her body. Police became suspicious of the story and under pressure, both Samantha and John Allen, confessed putting the girl in the trunk. They said it was her punishment for taking a popsicle from the fridge without permission. At trial testimony said that John Allen would roll and throw the box around, with Amy Deal locked inside. Sometimes they'd throw the box, with the girl inside, into the swimming pool. Other times, Cynthia Stoltzman would sit on it while Amy whimpered inside. The night of July 11th, the Allens stuffed Amy into the locker and snapped down the latches. They were all arrested and later convicted of several crimes as I mentioned before. All the other children were not abused and is believed that Amy Deal's abuse was due to the family not believing she was a blood relative. In addition to her death sentence, Samantha Allen received 74 years in prison for child abuse and conspiracy to commit child abuse. She joined Shauna Ford and Wendy Andriano on Arizona's death row. There's a link in the description if you want to know why these two women received the death penalty. The three inmates are incarcerated at the Arizona Department of Corrections Perryville, in Goodyear. Samantha Allen is now 30 years old. Amy Deal would be 18. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell if you want to be notified of new uploads. See you next video.